Hello everyone, this is part 2 of instrument studies that are being used in obstetrics and gynecological procedure and the part 1 link is given in description box below. So we'll discuss about 3 other important instruments here that is ovum forcep, sponge holding forcep and the chittle forcep. So first we'll discuss about the ovum forcep. You can appreciate its structure that it has no catch that is absent ratchet lock okay and on tip of this instrument there is oval shaped or spoon shaped ending the tip is spoon shaped uh, with some fenestration on top of it so here the ovum shaped tip is there with some fenestration and there is no lock this is the identification of this instrument and this is being used in uh, various MTP procedure where we need to uh, take out the product of conception. So whenever we use this instrument, we just close this instrument, then put it into the uterine cavity, will open and grasp the product of conception and in rotatory motion will take out exteriorly. So this is how we'll use it. Sometimes retained bits of tissues, the placental tissues, also may be released through this method. So uh, why we are using this rotatory motion because sometime if uterine wall is accidentally caught by this rotatory motion we feel some resistance and thereby we can allow the forceps to release this resistance. So that's why there is no catch. If there is catch then it can injure the uterine wall. It may bleed heavily. So to avoid that there is no catch. So by this instrument we take out the product of conceptions and the retained bits of tissues. And the another instrument is the sponge holding forcep. Here you can see there is lock, the ratchet lock and on tip of this you can see there are two round fenestrations are present and some transversely serrations are also there. So both sedations and fenestrations allows better gripping. So this is mainly being used for painting and toileting purpose. So whenever uh, we perform cesarean section uh, for painting of abdominal wall, we use this forcep. So we can take out the cotton or maybe the sponges uh, which are being dipped in antiseptic lotion and thereby we paint the abdominal wall before we are planned for incision or even we can clean the vulval and vaginal area before we go with the normal delivery. So painting and toileting purpose are the most common purpose behind using this forcep and the another use is to hold the anterior lip of cervix because uh, there are some traumatic instrument as well uh, which has uh, many teeth on top of that. So the pregnant uterus is more soft. So to hold the anterior lip of cervix, we use this sponge holding forcep because it will cause us less damage to the cervix. So in cervical circlage procedure where we need to hold the cervix uh, to perform the circlage procedure to make the cervix co competent, we use this instrument. Even in the management of third stage of labor where the placenta is delivering out to hold the fetal membrane as well we use this uh, forcer because uh, it will not tear the membranes. So these are the uses of sponge holding forcep and the next instrument is the chittal forcep. So here you can see this is the second forcep which do not have any catch or the ratchet lock. The first one is the forcep. Again here you can you can see that there is no lock and the second one is the chittal forcep. And the tip is also very curved and uh, serrated. There are various transversely arranged serrations are present. So the tip is curved and serrated. And this instrument is used to take out the surgical instruments from the boiler and formalin cabinet. And whenever this instrument is not being in use, then we can place in methylated spirit. So for the removal of surgical instrument one by one, we use this chittal forcep. 
so here in this lecture we have discussed about the three important instrument that is ovum forcep sponge holding forcep and the chiral forcep and in next third part we'll discuss about the another instruments thank you